going to be reading from Isaiah 54, 10. And I, it's going to be a couple of scriptures that I have for you. 54, let me get it there. Here we go. And um, my sermon, I'm, I'm going to put the mic right just close to me. I'm not going to hold it. I'm just going to go ahead and um, I know my mouth is big enough. So... I know that um, I'm just going to put it close and because I'm going to be using my hands and I can't hold and do all that. But anyways, I, I wanted to tell you my title is His Love Never Quits. His Love Never Quits. No matter what it looks like, no matter what we're going through, His Love Never Quits. His love for us is unshakable, is unmovable. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. I thank God for what God is doing. I thank you for your, I want to just thank you right now because you know what? You sent pastor across the country. And you know what? The lives that have been changed and that are going to be changed, you have something to do with it. So I am grateful and thankful for each and one of you for your commitment, your love, and your support. I thank you, each and one of you, so much because without you guys, he wouldn't be there. And you know what? He's being used of God. He's allowing God to use him in a mighty way. And, you know, he is a servant, and that's his desire is to be used by God. And that's what we all desire. So you all have a part in it. And I thank God for you. Again, his love never quits. Let me pray. Let me calm down. And bring forth the word. Thank you, Father God, for this day. And I thank you, God, for your love and your mercy, God. I pray that the word flows as you gave it to me, Father God. It kept ringing in my head all night long. His love never quits. His love never quits. And he kept giving me the scripture over and over and over. Let it flow this morning. Let it penetrate, Father God, the hearts of your people. Minister to them this morning and lift them up, God. Give them the word. Let them be changed. Let the fire be changed inside of them, O oh God. Have your way this morning, I pray, that your will be done in Jesus name I pray amen and amen it says it's funny because Ludus was talking about mountains and here in Isaiah 54 10 it says though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken nor my covenant of peace be removed says the Lord who has compassion on you. No one loves you like he does. No one has compassion like he does. He wants to restore your joy again. He wants to strengthen you again. He wants to refill you with the joy of the Lord once again. Many of us are not walking with that joy that once we had of the Lord inside of us. Sometimes I remember a friend that told me I was a neighbor in um, New Jersey when we were stationed there. She was not a Christian. And, um, you know, I, we became friends. And she said, oh, you did. She wrote me one time. She goes, you know, Evelyn, one thing you did was a chatterbox for God because you wouldn't show it up about God. You went on and on and on. And you know what? It was hard not to talk about God. It was not hard for the things that he's done in my life and what he bought me from. It was not, it was not, it was so hard not to keep my mouth shut. And many of us have. We've lost that fire. We've lost that fever, that, that thing that is inside of us that we, we don't stop talking about God. For he is the prince of peace. Yes, with 
victory in every area of your heart. God desires to have victory. Even though everything in your life is being shaken. For the past year, two years, our life has been shaken. You know, when people have turned against us and people have turned away, family members, mothers have turned against you. It's been hard. It's been very hard. Our life has been shaken in many ways. But guess what? God has kept our foots. You know what? It seems like sometimes that everything in our lives are being shaken, our family, our finances, our hopes, our dreams, our jobs. But you know what? His love never quits. He still loves you. His love doesn't change, even though everything else around you changes. People change. People let you down. Family members let you down sometimes. But God never quits. His love for you is still the same the day he called you out of darkness. When he showed you how much he loved you. When no one else did. His love is perfect. His love is kind. His love has compassion. No, his love never quits. He's always there for us. When no one else is, he will always be there for you. Every battle he fights for you. When everything is shaken in your life, his love never quits. I just want you to remember that when you leave here, that God loves you. And no matter what you're facing, what you're going through, God is fighting for you. God is with you. I want you, us to turn to Isaiah 41.10. Real quick, Isaiah 41.10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, and I will uphold you in my righteous hand. You are in his hands. He sees what you're going through, what you're going to go through, and God will strengthen you for what you need. He will hold you up. Isaiah 63. No, I want us to read Romans 8. This is a very, we've read this word and we've heard this word so many times, but sometimes we forget. And I just want to give you the words so they can, you can remember them and that you can know that the word of God will lift you up. It has promises. And sometimes we forget what God, when we're going through things, that God has the word that is life, and it speaks life into our situation. It removes the mountains. It removes everything that is there hindering us. God is still there. What then shall we say in the response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his, his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? All things who will bring any charge against those who God has chosen. It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ who Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to, to life. It is at the right hand of God, and it's also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, shall hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, sword? As it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long, but we are considered as sheep to the, so to the slaughter. I'm going to read 37. No, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. We are more than conquerors. 
God will help us, give us the strength that we need when we think we can't do it anymore. When we can't, when I say, God, I need you, I can't take it another day. God gives us the strength that we need because he loves us. He's not going to leave you in the situation that you are at. He's got something big. He's got big plans, as Rhonda said, in your life. I was thinking about that, you know, and I, I was thinking during the night the same thing and how sometimes the children of Israel felt hemmed in and they felt that, you know what, where are you, God? Where are you, God? Did you leave us here to die? Sometimes don't we feel that way? That when we go through things and you say, God, did you leave me here to die? You promised. You promised. And God said, my love never quits. I'm here. I know what you need, what is going to go ahead of you. I am before you. I am your rear God. I have not left you. I will meet every need financially, physically. God is with you. He is going to go before you in all things, even the things you don't even see. God's got your back. He will meet every need in your life. There's nothing that God cannot do. There's not a soul that he cannot reach. There's not a mountain that he cannot move in your life. Whatever it is, he has met many needs. He has kept us. And I thank God for his keeping power. I thank God for his love that never quits so many times we feel like it's okay to quit. Sometimes we feel like it's okay to walk away, but it's not because his love never quits. Do we fail? Do we mess up? Yeah, we do many times, but God's love never quits. He loves you. Dios te ama. Dios es grande. And I thank God for his love. And I thank God that he never leaves us nor forsakes us. He is the true living God. No one loves us like he does. The other day, I was praying for my husband, and there's things that he's been going through. He's been attacked in so many ways. But you know what? He has turned firm. And when everybody else has walked away and turned on him, he has stood firm. And you know what? He's still out there working for God is not shaking his faith whenever and I just thank God you know that he is so in love with God that that has not changed that he will try to do everything he can to be a servant for God and I thank God for his love and his mercy the Lord is with us and his love never quits I thank God for his love I want us to read Exodus 14 14. Exodus 14, 14. The other day, I was telling someone that I began to pray. And I was like, you know what, God, I had enough. I need to get on my knees. I'm going to fast and pray. And I'm going to go around the house anointing. And I'm going to go crazy and speak in tongues. And, okay, you know, Lord, and, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and um, just go off and, you know, and, and just reach out. And, and, and I had enough, Lord. And then I was praying really loud around the house and, you know, it's going, name of Jesus, you know. Father God, have your way, Lord. I, had a, I bind the enemy and I rebuke the enemy. I had enough already. And then all of a sudden, I get on my knees and I'm in the middle of the living room. And then God says, be still, be still, be quiet. And I'm like, really? I said, uh, I was, you know, kind of, you know, fighting in the spirit. I was like, okay, I had enough. No, 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 no. He said, be still, be quiet. And I was like, what, God? And then I just started to cry. He said, I've got this. I've got this. For the battle is not yours. It is mine. And I will fight for you. Be still and know that I am God. I am God in your situation. I am God in your finances. I am God in your life. Whatever you're going through, I am God. Be still and know that I am God. 
I will not leave you nor forsake you. He's not going to leave you where you're at. He didn't call you out of the darkness to let you go when everything else seems like it's going wrong. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. And he will order your footsteps. God is ordering your footsteps right now. Be not afraid for he's with you. For his love never quits. I want to read that. He was talking to uh, Moses. And um, at that time, that's when the Egyptians felt like they were hemmed in. And the enemy was after them. And the water, the seas were before them. And they were like, Moses, what did you do? Did you bring us here to die? We were better off over there, even though we were in bondage. I said, now you've brought us here and we're going to die? And Moses goes to God and he's praying to God, okay, man, these people are going crazy on me now. You know, what we're going to do? And then, you know, Moses answered the people and, and God has spoken to Moses. And Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord will bring you today, not tomorrow, but today. The gypsums you see today, you will see never again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. The Lord will fight for you. Whatever you're going through, whatever it is, your struggles, the things that you feel inside, that you beat yourself with sometimes, God loves you. His love never quits. He cares for you like nobody else's business. He knows where you stand. He knows your struggles. And God will deliver you out of all. He's not going to leave you where you're at. He loves you too much. I just want to really put that in your hearts that you know what? If he called you out of the darkness, he saved your soul. He's not going to leave you in the situation that seems impossible because with God, everything is possible. There's nothing that God cannot do. He has so much for you. It's not over. It's just the beginning. God loves you so much. I want us to read Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. Okay, where am I? Isaiah, 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 Isaiah 61. It's so important that the word ministers to your hearts because it speaks life into you and it has the promises that God has for us. 61.3. It says, uh, let me read. Number, okay, number three. It says, and provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning. How many have been mourning? The garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair how many have been in despair they will be called cloaks of righteousness a planting of the lord of display of splendor god wants to restore your joy god wants to put your ashes into beauty and your mourning into praise god wants to put praise in your heart again that when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is praise God. I thank you, Lord. You've given me life another day. I thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do for me this morning. I thank you, Lord, how you're going to go before me, how you're going to bless me. How am I going to see the hand of God move in my family? That one day I will see my son come through those doors that I haven't seen in three years. I don't know where he's at. But last night I dreamt about him. 
and I felt his arms around me, and I keep telling you to stand on the promises that God has for each and one of us to pray for those that are lost that we love so much. And I thank God because I believe and I stand on those promises. I have that. I hold on to that. And that God will restore all that that the enemy has tried to steal from us. The joy and the peace. And that we know who we are in him. I never forget that sometimes I used to come to church so broken. And I used to walk with my head down all the time. I remember as a child, my mom used to poke, hit me in the side and said, Evelyn, what, put your head up. Why you always have your head down? Walk with your head looking up. And, I, and she did that for a long time. And I did do that for a long time. Until one day, I was sitting in the church, and God said to me, lift up your head, my beloved. No more will you walk with your head down. Do you not know you are the daughter of the king? You are the son of the king. It's time to walk with your head up. Knowing who you are in Christ, that wherever you are, wherever you're walking through, that God's love never quits. And he will fight for you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. He knows what you're facing, but he's gone before you. And he will give you the strength and the joy that you need to go through it. Because you know what? Sometimes we lose the joy when we're going through things. And then you know what? What testimony are we going to be to others that are going through things if we do not have the joy of God in us? One thing I know that I went through so many things when I was in a bad place in my life where I was, you know, it was an abusive time of my life. But you know what? The joy of the Lord was my strength. And when people saw me, they didn't realize what was going on behind the closed doors because I had the joy of the Lord, and I was telling them I got saved. And I came from New York, God, you know, and I tell them my testimony, and I'm like, you know, I, I just had the joy of the Lord no matter what I was going through. That never left me. But at times, the world swallows up that joy. And we need to get it back. We need to walk with that joy once again. That people say, whoa, what happened to you? And no matter what you're going through, you must have lost your home. You must have lost your job. You must have lost your, uh, your, uh, your husband or your wife or your children. But you still walk with that joy that God is giving you that is inside of you. Because his love doesn't quit. He loves you. You've got to hold on to that today. And just pray for that joy once again to burn up inside of you. That nothing and no demon in hell will stop the plans of God over your life. And that nothing will steal that joy ever again. Because the enemy you see now, you see no more. It's time to walk in the authority that God is giving you. It's time to take over the every situation and let God help you. And walk in the authority that God is giving you today. Mahanayi alaradayi. His love never quits. He loves you. He cares for you. It's time to lift your eyes up unto him. No more beating down. I'm tired of seeing the saints beaten down by Satan. I, enough is enough because his love never quits. He loves you. He's beating you down enough. Enough is enough. Know who you are in Christ. You know what? Don't look back no more. It's done. It's over. It's time to look forward to what God has for you. Walk into it right now because his love never quits. He loves you. He cares for you like nobody's business. God wants to give you the joy and the peace that the enemy has stolen from you. No matter what you're going to face tomorrow, I can't promise you that it's going to be all roses because it isn't. But God will still give you joy. He will still give you peace that passes all understanding. There's nothing that God cannot do. He's going to rise you up from the ashes. You're going to look so beautiful, so joy and so glowing. People are going to say, whoa, what happened to you? 
The joy of the Lord is your strength. You need to get that joy back once again. That when you touch someone, they get joy too. You go, oh, hallelujah, praise God, my sister. Mahana The joy of the Lord is my strength. No matter what I'm going through, whatever you've been through, the joy of the Lord is your strength. His love never quits. Lift up your eyes and see where your strength comes from. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Keep your eyes on God. People will fail you. Your loved ones will fail. But God never fails you. God will never leave nor forsake you. The enemies you see today, you will see no more. That's the promise God has given us. Your deliverance, your joy, your peace is at hand. I love you and I thank you. I've given up the word and I pray that you receive it right now. Let's bow our heads. Thank you, Father God, for your love and your mercy. I pray, Father God, that you begin to stir that joy once again in them, Lord. Father God, that when they come through these doors, they're so excited. That when we used to get up on Sunday, we couldn't wait to get to church to praise you. Oh, God, give us that joy once again. Oh, Father God, I pray you lift up inside of us again, Holy Ghost. Oh, Father God, give us that joy that no matter what we're facing, no matter what we're going through, Lord, that we know who we are in you this day. Oh, Father God, strengthen them today. Give them the joy of the Holy Ghost. Oh, Father God, rise up inside of them once again. Let them know who they are in you, oh Lord. Oh, God, give them joy that they walk with us step, Father God, that they never had before, with a smile in their face, oh God, that when people said, oh my gosh, what are, your husband left you, your children left you, but you still got the joy of the Lord, your job, your home, we've lost it all, but you still got the joy of the Lord, Woo, and you'll be, be a witness and a light to those that are hurting, and they have no hope. Day after day, you hear on the news people committing suicide because they have no hope. We need to be a light. We need to raise up and know that we have the joy of the Lord and that his love never quits. I pray right now that you could start the CD, Josh. Right now, anybody who's missing that joy, I need you to come up. And begin to praise the Lord and give it to him. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever you've been through, you've been beaten, you've had enough, it's time to come up and stand your ground and be still and know that God is for you and that he will fight for you. But you need that joy, that strength put back in your life once again. So come forward. I I'm going to anoint you with oil, and I'm going to pray for that joy and that peace to come back to your life. Whatever is missing, whatever the Lord has for you, whatever you're going to go through, whatever you're going to face, you don't know what tomorrow holds, but you need to stand before God to give you the strength to go forward, whatever you're going to go through. In Jesus' name. Until she saw the eyes of one that's